Hey y'all, my name is Lisa and this is Our Gray House. We built and moved into our home about two and a half years ago and I still love it just as much as I did then. One of the things that we wanted when we were designing the house was to have the laundry room right off of the master closet and that's exactly what we did. In our old house, I had my laundry room. I didn't even have a room for the laundry room. I called it the laundry room, but it was actually in my garage. And so having a separate laundry room has just been fantastic. I hadn't really done anything to add any personality to the space. So I decided it was time to freshen it up a little bit and add some decor. This is how my laundry room looked before. And again, there's nothing wrong with it. It's just a little on the plain side. This area over here is where you could in theory fold things and I have a bar up there so you can hang up shirts and such after you get them out of the washer, I mean out of the dryer. There's my washer and dryer, they're just plain appliances, and on the floor I have a bath rug. I first saw these signs at Hobby Lobby and I thought they were so cute, and they, even at 50% off, I knew I could recreate them for less. Dollar Tree had these signs and they were a dollar, so I was already off to a good start. I took off the embellishments, but it did not leave a smooth surface for me. So, um, and I couldn't use the back because there was a hanger on the back and it was just messing things up. So I ended up using what was the backing from the shelves that I got at Target. So see, sometimes keeping those random things comes in handy. I'm just going to trace around and then I'm going to use my crafting X-Acto knife and I'm going to score it and then try to um, just cut it away and of course anytime I'm working I have guests I have supervisors on duty and today it's both of them I cut out the decals with my Cricut and I'm not sure of any place that sells stickers or decals or anything that large so if you were going to recreate this without a Cricut you'd probably want to trace it or maybe even freehand it I'm going to leave a link to this free printable in my description box below just in case you want to try it for yourself. And all I'm doing here is just adding the decals to the pieces that I cut out. I tried to darken the frames up a bit, but honestly, I don't think they'll really look that much darker to me, but I was just using Waverly Wax in the color Antique to do it. The final step is just to put the sign into the frame and then push those little metal things down to secure it. And that's pretty much it. I'll give you a final reveal at the end. I wanted to share with y'all that I have a Facebook group with my friend Sarah from Jujube DIY and this is what the cover photo looks like. And we'd love it if you join. And of course, the link will be in my description box below. I have been Googling laundry room signs and this one caught my eye. And fun fact, that little container that says supplies, it's on my craft room desk right now. I found this sign at Hobby Lobby and it's not in the wood pile section, but over by where the paints and canvases are. And I think I got it for 50% off. I took the measurements and then designed the sign in Cricut Design Space. And the thing is, it's a really big sign, so I had to cut it out in sections. Once it was cut and weeded, I measured to determine where to put it, and then I had to use, I mean, I pulled out my calculator, I had the tape measure going, you know, all the things to try to put it in the right space. And then I also referred to the design that I created to make sure that I put the pieces in the right spot. And there may be an easier way to do it, but y'all know me. <laughs> I sometimes just kind of have to wing it. We're here together exactly. and we're going to be putting the sign up yeah. up there. So what we've decided to do is put a piece of painter's tape all the way down on the sign and then mark where the sign hangers are and then we'll put it up on the wall. We'll measure how far down we want it to go. And then it should work perfectly, right, baby? Yeah. That was a good idea you had. Ah, uh, 
I got it from like TikTok or something. Also, here's some of the art we already have in the laundry room. That is a portrait of our cat, Homie, and a portrait of our cat, Sheba. Yes, we, they were a black and a white cat, a uh, black cat and a gray cat, and we have a black cat and a gray cat now. So we're just putting, tapping in a little nail to know where to really nail. And then we'll take off the blue tape. Hope it doesn't take off any of our other paint. And now in that same little hole, he's going to finish putting in the nail. The moment of truth. Awesome. <laughs> Looks so good. So now he's trying to put up the sign and I'm trying to be very specific about where I want it because that towel, the clothes bar right there, I want to be able to see it and it's in a perfect spot right where he has it. So we finished hanging the signs up and y'all know when I say we, I mean not me, I mean Marvin. And so he finished hanging up the signs and then I added some decor pieces and let me show you how it turned out. I bought this rug from Target and I wanted one that was long enough to go in front of the washer and the dryer and, but not too wide. So anyway, I settled on this runner. It's three foot by five foot. This plant was on sale at Hobby Lobby for 50% off and I think the planter that I set it in is from Target. Since we don't have any windows in here and I'm a notorious plant killer, I opted for a faux plant to add some greenery to the space. These glass containers were on clearance from a while back at Hobby Lobby and I thought they would look cute filled with powdered laundry detergent and clothespins. This little tag on this basket is from the his and her section of Hobby Lobby. And it was fairly inexpensive, so I just cut out a decal with my Cricut and it says Lost Socks. I put our extra hangers here for when we finish drying something so we can quickly hang them up before putting them away. And just as a reminder, this is how our laundry room looked before. And this is how it looks now. This is not a dramatic before and after, but I really think that the signs and the new decor pieces add a little bit of personality to the space and I love how everything has come together. Thank y'all so much for joining me on my laundry room refresh. I really do appreciate you guys being here. And don't forget, give my video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And if you wanna follow me here on YouTube or over on Instagram, it's Our Gray House, but just don't follow me in real life though, because that's creepy. Bye.